Handstand Shoulder Mobility Test Do you have enough shoulder mobility to perform a straight handstand? If not, what's the limiting factor? To perform a handstand, you're going to need sufficient shoulder flexion and shoulder external rotation. Often we see handstand beginners performing a banana handstand and a lot of coaches will give the cue to pull the rib cage down. But if clients are lacking shoulder mobility, they're not going to be able to fix their alignment until they fix their shoulder mobility. Here are some simple tests you can do to see if you have enough shoulder mobility to perform a straight handstand. Start by standing with your back to the wall. Move your feet one foot width away from the wall, bend your knees and place your back against the wall. Set a posterior pelvic tilt, our PPT, and press your lower back into the wall. There should be no daylight between your back and the wall at any time during the following tests. As you lift your arms overhead, do not allow your back to arch off the wall. Keeping the arms straight, lift them out in front of the body with the palms facing down. Starting with a shoulder width hand placement, can you lift your arms overhead and place them flat against the wall? Do not allow the elbows to bend or allow the lower back to arch off the wall. If you're unable to reach the wall, this could be a sign that the lats are tight. When the lats are tight, there is limited thoracic spine extension, which also affects the handstand alignment. If you can reach the wall, but you need to bend your elbows slightly, this can be a sign that your pecs and maybe your biceps are tight. Shoulder extension exercises are a good option for stretching both the pecs and the biceps. You can experiment with the width of the arms to find a position that allows you to place the arms flat against the wall without bending the elbows or arching the back. This will give you a benchmark and allow you to monitor improvements in shoulder mobility. Are the stretches you are using working? To successfully pass this test, you need to be able to place the arms flat on the wall with the arms shoulder width apart, the elbows locked, and the lower back pressed into the wall. The next test is to bend the elbows to 90 degrees and determine if you can externally rotate the shoulders and place the back of the forearms and hands on the wall. If you're unable to do this, the internal rotators of the shoulders are tight and therefore limiting external rotation. You will need to work on stretching the shoulder internal rotators and strengthening the shoulder external rotators. If you can bring the forearms and hands to the wall, you can experiment with trying to straighten the arms and bring them as close together as you can overhead. Again, this is just testing your shoulder mobility and giving you a benchmark for future reference. To successfully pass this test, you need to be able to place the back of the forearms and hands flat against the wall with a 90 degree bend in the elbows while keeping the lower back pressed into the wall. This assessment is used to test shoulder mobility for the overhead position. Passing these tests doesn't automatically gift you a straight handstand. It shows you that you have the shoulder mobility required to perform a straight handstand. Shoulder strength and endurance, body alignment and rebalancing are other elements of the handstand that you will also need to work on. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel.